Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. This is an updated everyday makeup routine. I don't think I've done one of these videos in forever. I don't think I've done makeup on my channel in forever. It is gonna be like the easiest, simplest way that I do my makeup on a regular basis. I mean, I don't wear makeup every day, obviously. Not everybody wears makeup every day, but this is if I'm going to the bar or when I went to the concert or like on the cruise to work, it is a very minimal, easy, glowy, glow glamorous look that you can achieve anyone can really achieve at any makeup level I haven't done any full glam in so long like not even in person I'm not talking about just on YouTube like in person at all however if you guys want to see a full glam video I can get one up soon I just have been kind of avoiding full glam as like my skin has been healing and all that I wouldn't say it's like a two-step process because like there are quite a few steps in it but it is fairly easy to do and achieve it looks great without having to take an hour and a half to do your makeup i'm probably gonna zoom you guys in to my face just a little bit more hi hey how you doing <laughs> i'm zoomed in a lot because you know i want you guys to see it but like i don't want you to see how hideous i am right now the first thing i do is my base 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 i'm gonna put on moisturizer this is the sand and sky tasmanian spring water i actually don't think this is available anymore at ulta i got this one at uh tj max it is so amazing and I don't really know why they discontinued it because it's literally so good. I mean, they probably discontinued it because the shit is $54 for the jar. So the next thing that I do after I have my moisturizer set and like just get into my skin and make me look so good is I go ahead in with a primer. This is the Too Faced Major Hangover RX primer. It's very moisturizing. For those of you who are new to my channel, hello. And I have super dry skin. I also have issues with eczema. Not as much lately ever since my stress levels have really gone down but I do so struggle with sensitive skin dry skin and eczema just as like an update or like a PSA so you won't get like a lot of oily girl tips for me because unfortunately I don't have that problem I have the opposite so for those of you who don't know I got a dog I mean I've had the dog I've had him for a while but he usually doesn't bark and like he's down there like losing his mind so I don't know if like because it's nice out, so I guess the kids, they might be playing, like, right here. And the houses, they're not very well, like, they're not very thick walls. So you can hear everything, and I think that that's what the issue is, but he's got to, he's got to calm down. He's got to calm down. All right, so back to what I was doing. So I did my primer. Like I said, I usually do sunscreen, but I am, <laughs> the way that I'm locked in here, my sunscreen's all the way over there, and I just can't reach it, so we're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be using foundation just as a PSA. So the next thing that I do is I go to my eyebrows and I do my eyebrows a little bit different every time but I'm gonna do it the way that I did it the other day. I don't full-blown draw them on unless I'm doing a full glam look. I'm using the Brow Definer by ABH. Trusted and true and this is in the shade Ebony probably. Yes, Ebony. And I just go in and I kind of just fill where I feel like there's sparseness. I have brows, but they don't arch really, and they're not full. So I just have to kind of go in and like touch them up. But I do have hairs, just not as much as I wish I had. I'll clean up like under here, but that's about it. Like the rest of it is just kind of what it is. Um, I let the hairs just be there and it doesn't usually look that bad. Cause like I said, my hairs are kind of sparse, but if you want to touch it up, you can touch it up depending on how dark or thick your eyebrow hairs are. So literally that part is like that easy, honestly. I wish I had my tweezers with me because I definitely wanted to pluck like a couple of these hairs over here because I have quite a few down here. This one, for whatever reason, this brow is like thicker, like fatter than this one. It's just, this one gets on my nerves, okay? It just always does. So I go in with the ABH brow pen as well and this is also in the shade Ebony. And I just give myself like a few little, few little fake, fake little guys right here. And I just literally go in and I flick just a few strokes of hair in the front. Just because my eyebrows don't come in all the way and they're not very full towards the inside. And I don't want them to look like square. You never want your brows to look square. So if you do your brows and they're like snatched and that's fine and they're perfect, you don't want them to have lines. Like you don't want them to be, oh shit. You don't want them to be like, Pleh. you want to give them like flicks of hair so it looks a little bit more natural. Or don't, I don't care. They're your eyebrows. But you want those little hairs 
just because it makes it look softer. I don't look as when I make it a little bit softer. I'm gonna get my Makeup by Mario eye prep it's like eye prep and set or something. And I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up under there while also putting on my eye primer. And I just take like a brush, like just a flat brush. And it doesn't have to be sculpted. So I don't do like chiseled out, if that makes any sense. I just kind of like tap it in there, give it a little and make sure that it's nice and clean. And then I go down my eyes and spread it. I put this all over my eye for my eyeshadow. That is the one thing that no matter how like less makeup I do, like no matter how easy it is, no matter if I'm doing eyeshadow, I always put a base just because I have a lot of discoloration on my eyes. If you can see like some are dark, some areas are darker than others. And that just makes the eyeshadow not look the way that I want it to. I'm going in, this is just a brush that I use for setting powder. This is a more Morphe brush of some kind. I honestly do not know what it is, but I use it for setting powder and setting my eye. So I always set my eye so it doesn't get sweaty. While also doing this, I will come up here and tap on my eyebrow just a little with the excess. If you're doing your makeup and you find yourself getting a little sweaty up top, and if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Sometimes your brows get sweaty when you do them. Like I guess it's cause like the cream and products you have on it, I don't know but it'll kind of make your eyebrows look glistening and then they look really super fake. So I will go over them with the excess powder for my eyes and just tap on it. So note to self, or you can go in the bathroom. If like you're out at the bar and you feel like you're getting a little sweaty, tap on your eyebrows so it, they don't get sweaty and they don't look weird. We're actually going to skip the eyeshadow right now and go to our face. I use these two concealers. This is the Hourglass uh, Vanish Concealer and this is in the shade Beach. And then I also use the Yuma, Yuma, I think it's Yuma, U-O-M-A, um, Woke Concealer, cause it's a little bit darker. And I literally, I have a beauty blender and I take one, two, three, one, two, three. Like literally it's this easy. Like this is about the most complexion I have. Like when it comes to comp complexion products, one here. And I put a, this is a little bit lighter. That's why I put this in the center and at the edge. And then I just blend it out. And I keep it relatively close to my under eye. I will bring it down a little, but I don't do like the triangles and stuff. You don't wanna just sit it right here on your under eye because that's gonna create a shadow at the top of your cheek and it's gonna make your eyes look actually worse than it is better. And sometimes I'll even bring it down here if I feel like my mustache line is a little bit dark. And don't come at me for having hair there because we all do, okay? And then I also will bring it to my forehead a little. Before I go into anything else, I'm gonna go to right under my eye. I don't set this or this yet because I use cream bronzer and cream blush, but I do wanna get as quick as I can under my under eye because I'm not gonna put any other products here. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush, flawless airbrush, whatever. Um, in the shade too. It's a little too yellow for me, but I like to use it when I'm not using foundation because my concealer when I'm using foundation is much lighter than my concealer when I'm doing no foundation. I want my concealer, so here's a, a pro tip. If you're using just concealer and not foundation, you want your concealer to kind of be right around your skin tone, just a smidge lighter, just a smidge. If you're doing full glam, you can literally make it like light and it'll look really good because you're that full glam. You're gonna sit there, you're gonna contour, you're gonna bake, you're gonna do all that. But when you're just doing a very easy, no makeup makeup look or everyday makeup look and you're not using foundation, you want your concealer to be as close, if not identical to your skin tone. So keep that in mind. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my bronzer, also using Makeup by Mario. I used to do this thing where, you know what I mean? I don't do that anymore, not when I'm doing my everyday makeup routine. I put it on my hand and I warm it up. One, I found that I am using less product and you really don't need as much as you think. And then I go in with my beauty blender and then I start to pack it on where I require. It's more, like it's easier to manage it and blend it out when you're putting it on little by little instead of drawing it on your face and then going, well shit, I don't need that much. This is literally my favorite bronzer. It's like warm tone, but it's not orange. I find that like all the bronzers I've tried, even the Rare Beauty bronzer, which makes me really upset because I love that um, 
formula for me, but like it is really orange. Like as soon as it doesn't look orange, but then as soon as I put it on my skin, I'm like, oh my God, oh ba la ba. And I go up my nose. I don't put a lot. Like it's not, I'm not contouring. I'm not doing all that. And then I come down here to my little chunky chin. And I put a little bit there and a little bit here. I mean, I don't really do it too much there because like I'm big. So like my face is just round. Like it just is what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna go into my blush. Um, I use two different blushes depending on what I'm feeling. But today I am going to go in with my Merit um, blush. This is in Cheeky. It is a flush balm cheek color. Literally, I was gifted this and a couple other products. I think I did a video a long time ago about it. I really, really like it, but my other favorite is the She Glam from Shein, and it's like five bucks, and you just dab it in. It's very, it's a little bit more liquid than cream, though. I will go directly, I know, like the complete opposite, directly onto my face with it, just because I like a lot of blush. So you guys know that this is not a new thing. I love blush. So, and this one is kind of like a thinner product. So I don't feel as though I'm wasting it. You can control it easier that way. And I bring it up here and over my nose. Yep, I do that now. It's springtime, come on. What? I actually think I need to put on more. I need to put on more. You can use this on your lips too. So, now that I've done the cream products, I do go in with just a little bit of powder. Honestly, it's not a lot. Don't do a lot. I just go in. So this one that I've been using lately is the Urban Decay Beached Bronze Sun Kiss. This has been my favorite bronzer for years, for years. But I just go in lightly and just go right over all the cream products just to kind of set it. I still get that dewy look from the cream products, but it doesn't make my face feel like sticky or sweaty, feel secure in like my makeup. Cause when you're going out and stuff like that, you don't want to feel like your face is melting. So the other one that I use is just like a little travel NARS um, bronzer in Laguna, I believe. No, Orgasm. Laguna's the bronzer. I'm an idiot. Just because it kind of goes with that one, but it's just a little bit lighter. So I just literally, I go right on over. I don't do a lot. I do like just a little tap and I just go right on over where I put the blush. This has actually been my go-to um, palette for my highlighter. So I'm going to show you guys what to use for my highlighter. I go in with the Lunar Beauty LBF6. I go into either one of these, but today I'm gonna go in this lighter one, which I believe is Snow Bunny or Royal Icing. I'm gonna go with, it's probably Snow Bunny. Either way, I go in very lightly and I just put a little highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones and I go on my nose and I go up my nose and then a little right here on the chin. I'd rather have a lot of highlighter though than like not enough, like you know. And then I go a little bit all over there. I just had to get some of it away from over here because that was a little crazy. Because basically my face is done, is my eyes. And I do two different things. Boom. So I use the KKW, but you can't get these anymore, by the way, because you don't sell them anymore. But I use this 5 pan palette because it comes with like a dark, a medium, light, and then shimmers. And then this one is my go-to which is the eye contour, which I thought was like the dumbest thing she ever created, but I literally use it every day. Every time I do my makeup for the most part, this is what I'm using like today. So I sat here and I talked crap, but like I bought it and here I am. So I'm gonna go all over my eye with this lighter shade. And when I tell you, this is like an easy, easy look. Like I literally just go all over my eyelid with the light shade and then go in the inner core or the outer corner with the dark shade. And then I put a little highlighter on the inner corner of my eyes. It's actually it. And it looks so good. I mean, you can switch it up. You can use different colors if you want to, but I'm just all about right now what is easy for me to achieve. And I'm gonna also go under here with a little bit of that light color. That's why I also use complexion or uh, concealer because I like to Go, I like to add my under eye to my eye look. So even if it's a simple look, I like to have that shadow there. And because my under eye is like darker, it wouldn't really show up. Now I'm literally gonna go into this darker color right here, pick some up, put it on the corner. And again, you do not have to have this eye contour palette. You can literally use a dark brown and a medium brown or tan or whatever and achieve the same thing. I put it on 
the outer corner and work my way up and over. I don't bring it over on the lid. I just bring it up and over here because I'm also going to pull it into the crease, like the socket of my eye. So like when you open your eye, that little divot, that's where you want to keep it. And people want to recreate shit that takes them five seconds to do. People do not want to hear that your makeup that they really like took you three hours. Because they don't have the time. I'm a normal girl for normal girls. And guys. And these. Whoever. But we're normal here. Like we don't have six hours to be getting ready to be going out. Like because by the time I'm done all that, I don't want to go out no more. Like I'm just to that age where like... If it takes that long for me to get ready, I've already done the event. Like, I, it took me longer to get ready than it's gonna be that I'm at the bar. Like, I'm only gonna be at the bar for three hours. It took me four to put my makeup on. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I just do like this, like literally so easy. And if you want it to be a little bit darker, like I want it to be a little darker, I'm gonna go into this super dark brown. You can literally pick whatever dark brown you want. Doesn't have to be this palette. And I'm gonna just go dab, dab, dab. Just a little dab. And put it right here in this outer corner and a little into the crease. And then I'm gonna blend it. It gives it just a little bit more depth. I wipe off that packing brush. I literally use like the same brush. I'm not kidding. And I just go pick up some of that shimmer. And I go right here on the inner corner and place it a little on the bottom and a little on the top. This is not really giving me the shim shim I want. So <laughs> we're going into her because she's really blinding. But I'm going to use Avalanche, which is the gold one in the center. This highlighter palette, I used to sleep on this highlighter palette, and now I'm like, I love this. Like, just look at that. It looks just so icy. Like, it looks so good. Me and my daughter are going to have some choice words when she gets back from her dad's. Okay. She took my brand new, I have the brand new Maybelline Telescopic Mascara, which I actually really like. I was like, I don't get the hype about this mascara, but then like I used it and I am like in love with it now. All right, I'm gonna go on with It Cosmetics with, it's called Superhero. You can choose, oh, I fucked up. You can choose to put lashes on or not. Um, it depends on what I'm doing. I'm not gonna put lashes on right now because I'm literally going to work my part-time job after this. So I don't wanna put lashes on just to take them off and I'm not gonna wear them while I'm working. So I gotta let that sit and dry before I put my spray on. Sometimes I'll do a wing liner. Depends on how risky I really wanna be, um, but I'm not gonna do that today. I put on a lipstick, um, a matte lipstick or lip gloss. Um, and I think honestly today, I'm gonna go lip liner, lip gloss. So this is ColourPop in the shade BFF2, which is my favorite. Usually when I do a lip gloss, I'll either just do the lip gloss or I will use a pencil. Uh, the only time I do like a liquid lipstick is if I'm either doing full glam or I'm going somewhere and I don't wanna have to reapply. So I literally just do like a quick line, like that's it. I don't even fill it all the way. I just kind of bring it down just a little. And then my favorite lip gloss, which is Princess Cut by uh, ColourPop. Yeah, Princess Cut. And it's their So Juicy line. I always carry like 80 of these around with me. Bitch, like we're here. She's here. Hello. Is it like the easiest? No. Like I feel like it took me forever, but that's probably because I'm filming, right? Like for you guys, it wasn't long and I'm talking a lot. But like if you're not talking and you're just doing, it's literally the easiest freaking thing ever. Let me, let me do a little spritz. Even though I don't use like a lot of complexion products, I do like to set it. Um, one, setting spray will kind of give you that dewy look depending on which setting spray you use. And two, it will help blend in all the powders and creams that you did use, even if they are minimal. So that is it though, guys. Like that is my everyday makeup. When I say everyday, it's like the makeup my go-to. My easy go-to makeup when I'm going out or I'm doing something that I have to have makeup on. I don't wear makeup every day. I do not. I don't recommend it. I'm never gonna be that person that goes, oh my God, let me put my makeup on before I go to the gas station, ever, like ever. So, I mean, it's just very minimal. It's easy, I feel like, for anybody of any makeup level to follow. I hope you really enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Is that what we're calling them still? Okay, makeup tutorial. I know I haven't done makeup in forever. I hope you did have fun. I hope you learned something. You don't need to have these same exact products. If you have similar ones, drugstore, high end, it doesn't matter. They're not, like the products themselves are not specific to this look. It's just, you need to have like these items, like obviously eyeshadow, mascara. But other than that, I mean, you can tweak it to however 
you know whatever makes you happy like I said put lashes on if it makes you feel better wear a lipstick if you like that more like you can really dress it up bring it down you can put like a really lightweight foundation on so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I really did I'm glad that I was able to do a makeup video I enjoy doing them I miss doing them if there's any makeup looks or makeup tutorials that you are looking for as always make sure you leave it down below and I will get to it as soon as I can I do want to get a full glam makeup tutorial up for you guys soon I just don't know when that's gonna be because like I said I just I have to replenish like my foundations and everything because I have not touched those foundations in literally six to seven months and I can only imagine that they're probably all really bad for me to put on my face so I'm probably gonna go through my makeup get rid of the old stuff and all that but if you made it this far in the video I love you guys I appreciate you every single one of you every single time you click on my video it helps me to move forward and on with my goal of doing content full time but I appreciate and love all of your support so if you are new here and you made it this far please make sure you subscribe before you leave make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up for me but as always guys I love you and I'll see you on the next one bye